use this wallpaper. Set both, so we'll be good there. I know what the timeline is. Looks like we got an hour and 35 minute drive. Starting new to Oklahoma City Golf and Country Club. Yeah. So today I've got my man Chris behind the camera. We're gonna do a behind the scenes, full behind the scenes of a wedding I'm shooting in Oklahoma City. It's about an hour and a half away from Tulsa. So we're just about to, to head out right now. First stop, obviously, Starbucks, and then we'll hit the road. Thank you. Yes. Ah, oh, burnt my tongue. My goal, you know, with a wedding like with today, not only is to just really take care of the bride and groom, but I'm gonna memorize the bridesmaids' names if I can. I'm gonna try to remember mom and dad's name. I'm gonna try to make sure that Kristen, the wedding planner, is taken care of. I'm thinking about the florist. I'm thinking about the DJ or the band. And I'm just thinking like, how can I get them good footage of this so they can be taken care of? And so not only the like the couples know they're going to get like a really good service with us. My goal is for like the wedding vendors knowing, oh wow, John's on this. This is gonna be a great video that I'm gonna get to share because you know, they, they want videos too. And so if I can hook them up with 30 seconds of their flowers or 30 seconds of the band playing and to say, hey, here's a video. Like I'm trying my best to just build those relationships knowing that this wedding will lead to more weddings if I show up and do it right. And if I like leave an impression with the couple, they're gonna remember who I am as opposed to just being a bump on a log, just kind of hiding behind a camera all day. You know, as a, a new filmmaker or somebody that's been doing it for a while, I, I, I'm not saying that you need to be the center of attention, but like definitely have an opinion, definitely turn off a light if the light doesn't look good or ask the photographer if it's cool if you turn off the light or hey, can we get a shot of the dress over here? Or hey, you know, just kind of be there thinking what looks good instead of just showing up and it's like, well, wherever anything's happening, that's where it's happening. You know, it might be, oh, the makeup's happening in the bathroom with terrible light. And instead of just filming that and being okay with it, I might, you know, recommend saying something like walking up to the makeup artist and saying, hey, in just a little bit when you're almost done, if I set up a chair, would you be able to do some kind of last minute touch-ups in front of this window where the light's a lot better, her skin's gonna look a lot better? And just stuff like that where you get more comfortable the more you shoot, but if you just kind of, you know, you're the only one looking out for you when it comes to the video. The photographer is used to having complete control and having, you know, creative control, but if at the beginning of the day, you're, you're or even beforehand, or you're emailing the, the photographer, saying, hey, I wanna work in a few different uh, things today. I need a few minutes of, of time where it's just them focusing on the video more so than the photo. Can we work that in? And just kind of teamwork like that. That's something that like, I think a lot of videographers just don't even realize they have the option to do that because we were just so used to being like an afterthought almost, you know? And so like the more that you can get in there and kind of dive in and say, <clears throat> this is where I'd want to do this, or this is how I'd want to do this. That's going to be, that's going to be the you know the best thing for working with other people. And then the other thing too is, like I've heard stories from my photographers of like the videographer just kind of chilling out on their phone in front of people, or just like sitting down at one of the tables and not really working the whole time. Um, and then they don't you know they don't even think about the relationships that they're making with other vendors. Um, that's so huge. Because a lot of times video people, you know, we're kind of awkward, so we like to be behind the camera. And then we don't make any relationships or try to connect with anybody. And if you just spend a little bit of time making sure that the, the wedding planner has, you know, it's like, do you need me to get any footage of your, your, your head tables in a different way? Is there anything I'm missing? You know, just kind of catching up with them and making sure that everybody knows that you're serving them. That, that bodes well in the, you know, in the long-term game for sure. And that's, you know, it took me seven or eight years before I filmed my, you know, the first wedding that I filmed that was over $5,000. But I knew long-term if I just kept taking good care of people that it would spiral up into a place where now that would be the lowest price wedding I do all year long. Um, you know, the average is way more than that. And it's because we've built a brand of really excellent, excellent quality with excellent service and just a great reputation. So you keep doing that 
it might take a few years, but like that's how you build your brand more so than just like getting paid to shoot a wedding. We are here. Got it. I wanted to interrupt this video real quick to just throw it out there that I am showing a solo shooter behind the scenes with one video camera on a wedding day. I am not color grading the edited footage. I'm just putting it out there so you can kind of see the kinds of angles that we get. So before you comment and say, the color doesn't look great, I didn't color all this footage. So I just wanted to throw it out there that the footage is not color corrected, exactly correct. That would have taken forever and I'm just too lazy to do it. So anyway, back to the video. Get one little simple shot, just going straight up. Simple and easy. Um, I've been flying for two minutes and 20 seconds at this point, and nobody's around, and I don't do anything fancy. Um, I want like legit footage I hire a guy to come do it for me and that's it that's what that'll be for the whole day pretty much but it adds that factor um, you know that cool factor to the film all right we're gonna look inside the back of my trunk here um, of what we're bringing for the solo shoot so if you see here um, in this case here just a bunch of handles lenses 70 to 200 this is the um, the 24 the, the Rokinon Cine kit got some microphones Two Taz cams, a lapel mic, charger in this bag. I um, got my torch LEDs, a couple light stands, a couple tripods, a monopod. And then in this bad boy would be um, C100 Mark II, C100 Mark I, zoom, extra batteries, external monitor, 50 mil, bunch of batteries, SD cards, headphones. So just getting everything that I'm going to take inside so I don't have to take all my gear inside. Again, I'm going to be shooting on the C100 Mark II. I've got a 50 millimeter broken on cinema lens for today, and we should be good to go. I'm going to throw in the 24 in case I want to get some wide shots too. This this is a really awesome, easy to set up kind of thing. It takes a minute to balance it, but once you have it balanced and ready to go, it's just like butter all day long. And it, if I charged it correctly, it will be legitimately just it works like all day and so now this camera gimbal wise is balanced so that's took maybe two minutes to get that balanced it's got like a joystick and stuff so i can like during the ceremony i'll use this camera on this just on the floor um, and be able to use this wider lens i might just go ahead and get some external shots while i'm out here I've got 25 minutes to start so i think i'm going to do that I'm going to set my aperture pretty low or pretty high, whatever, closed up. And that way more stuff's in focus here. Kind of get my light and my color set. I'm going to do auto white balance for right now just while I'm out here. Um, don't want to have to mess with it while <clears throat> I'm like running around with this Ronin. So looking for the sunlight. I'm going to get a shot here. Um, where the, I'm going to head to the left and then the, the sun will peek through the trees. So, and again, on these kind of things, I'm not trying to go crazy. Just doing slow, simple movements. Got a car that came in just now, so I'm going to redo that shot. I don't like when cars are moving. Once it stops, I'll... I also have a van in the shot, so I'm going to try to frame it out. Just getting something pretty and nice to start. Nothing crazy. Try to get some of this trees kind of moving. Just something simple. Let the sunlight do the work. Looks pretty. Good little exterior shot. And then I'm gonna get a shot of this, these hedges. Get out of the way! I'm trying to make movie magic right now. <laughs> That's the photographer, Sarah. All right, let's see. That head, Sarah's husband. All right, so here we go. Get a couple of shots here, just slow. Nothing crazy, just a little bit of movement. A 
And again, just a tiny bit of movement. All right, a couple shots of just stuff. Put the gimbal in the car and then grab all the stuff to head inside. So quick fun fact, Redeemage Productions is shot here like 20 times, but I've never shot here. So I don't, I don't know anywhere where I'm going. So you're my tour guide. So I'm gonna be rolling with the 50 for the getting ready. So little guy, just ready to roll if we need to with a speech or anything like that. So I'm gonna hand this to you and keep it in your pocket just so you have it. You have the microphone in case I need it. Okay, so for in here, I'm gonna do as open of an aperture as possible. So one four or one five on this lens and I'll do auto white balance until we get into the room. So we'll go say hello, introduce ourselves and get going. Hi, how's everybody doing? Just a bunch of cameras coming in. Hey Kara, how are you? I would give you a nice hug. It's so good to see you. Good to see you too. Thanks for having us out. It's your wedding day. We're here. So excited. Oh my gosh, it's all setting in. They should be here. Yep, we're here. We're ready to roll. So we'll be around. Okay. Awesome. We're going to go, we're early still, um, okay. so we're just going to go look around a little bit, but we're around and we'll come back and stuff. I will. I'm on it. Uh, the bride was just starting her makeup, so a little pro tip to not film at the beginning because no bride wants footage of themselves with no makeup on. So we're going to work with the photographer, get details, invitation suite, those kinds of things, dress, shoes, while she's getting her hair and makeup done. Then she'll be finishing. We won't waste any time that way. So. Hey, it's your wedding day, remember? Yeah. We're here. Crazy. <laughs> you feeling good? Y'all, this is John. He's a videographer. Hi, everybody. Hi. I'm John. How's everybody? Hey. Hey. Good to see you again or meet you. We don't know if we've actually met in person or not. We talk serious? on the phone all the time. But We're like besties, but we like are, internet besties. Okay. We're going to scoot this table back oh, real quick. Sorry. Do you mind us killing the overheads? Yeah, I would be thrilled. I don't know where okay. to turn them off. Let's figure it out. We'll do it. Are these the light switches? Sorry, it's just light snobs. Yeah. <laughs> Ta-da! It's prettier. All right. Always turn off the overhead lights. Thank you. That window is dirty. It does not look right. Thanksgiving. What are you guys thinking? Yeah. Every time I've shot here, I've gotten uh, yelled at for being like hours. Good. I've always got, like, well, I always we're not going to today. Who are you? Sorry, I'm just trying to get my phone. No, who are you? I am what, what? Christina. Christina. Bro I am uh, groom's, groom's, groom's brother-in-law. There it is. Yeah. Or sister-in-law. Mother, and, sister and actually now going to be the bride's brother, sister-in-law too. So. Okay, and you're Christina? Christina, yes. Okay, I'm John. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Oh, what grade are you in? First, what do you learn in first grade? I don't remember first grade. Floss. You learn how to floss in first grade, right? Just looking for little interesting details. I don't know. I know your mom and your daddy, and I know your grandmother and I know you know what a crayon is. Yeah, I mean. There's no way. Because he's not in your jeans yet. Yeah, so this couple is not doing a first look, and the sun sets at 5.15, and the ceremony is at 5.30 or something. Yeah. All right, I'm going to go get a couple shots of her. If you do anything that's really pretty, let me know. All right, I'm gonna to try to start memorizing some people's yeah, names here. No, no, no. All right, what's your name? Brennan. Brennan? Uh, Brennan, I'm John. What's your name? Rose. Yeah. Rose? Yeah. Rose and Brennan. Yes. Brennan, Rose. Okay, I'm John. Rose, Brennan. Brennan, I'm John Bunn. Yep. Rose. Brennan. Brennan. I will. I'll try. Brennan and Rose. All right, two down. Oh, my word. Am I gonna be? Am I gonna be in your way? Never. Okay. You're never in my way. All right. I already like you. And I need so many new and, and just so you know, them. like I mean, when you hold a precious angel and baby that's sleeping, you're yeah. opposite of in the way. Well, I guess so I'm gonna film her if that's okay. Well, just the baby. Uh huh. Okay. Like you're in the in the mirror though. Sandra, so sweet. 
I have a question yeah. for you. Mm -hmm. Whenever you're like 99% done, can I sit you in front of a pretty window to do some last minute touch ups? Yes, of course. Awesome. This light is not my favorite, yeah. Yeah. but I mean, you look great, but it'll yeah. look better on the, but, on the yeah, window light. Window yep. Okay. Perfect. I love that. Yeah. Thanks. You're my first yeah. photographer to see you with a tie. Very professional. <laughs> Where have you been? A photographer? Like, I feel like they all wear like a black t-shirt. <laughs> no, I want to no. look like a guest. Yeah. That way if I'm in the background of my other guys' shots, I just look yeah, like I'm here. Yeah, that makes sense. Here. I'm going to get really close to you for a sec, I though. Maybe jackets, but... And what is your name? Megan. Megan. Nice to meet you. Look at her. Michelle yeah. and Megan. Nailing him. I'm going to ask you again in an hour. Megan. Michelle. Mom. Yeah. So this is your grandbaby. Oh, Only yeah. one? I have three. Okay, so the, one, okay. These two. Step granddaughter, granddaughter, yep. granddaughter. Okay. Yeah. Nice. <laughs> Megan and Michelle. Brennan and Rose. Let's go say hi to Brennan and Rose real quick. Brennan, Rose. Yay. Yes. There they are. The one I have on my lips right now. <laughs> so I met Megan, Michelle, Rose, and Brennan, and Christina so far. Especially while you're getting all these pretty shots of the shoes and stuff, I'll just be memorizing people's names. Did you already get, are you done with shoes? Yeah, so if you want to do anything with it. Man, I'm just, yeah. I'm trying to like, this is just too, that might work. Nothing like a dude trying to set up some feminine looking. This looks pretty actually. Oh, Sarah, um, I told her, I asked the makeup artist if we could set up out here for like the last bit. And she was like, yeah, great. Okay. Smells nice. All right. That'll be pretty. Okay. So, like Brennan's name's already in, Kelly's name's in. Is it? Well, it's like different. Yeah. Okay. Kelly. Kelly's kind of basic. Where are you from, Kelly? Austin, Texas. Kelly from Texas. Yeah. Really? Okay. Cool. What's my name? John. Okay, cool. I've been chilling. Okay, rule number one about being an awesome video guy is to let the photographers do all the work and steal the credit. So the number one rule. I'm helping. Oh, I did all the work. Corby stood there and did nothing. If you don't have chucks, you can't work for me. It was like, seriously. I remember that. No, I'm great. But thanks. I liked a little bit of green next to it too. I'm gonna try to see about getting a little flare action. Ah, ha, 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 ha! Oh. Okay. Let me know when you want me to move. I'm just going in for the kill. Um, last weekend I was off. The weekend before was Southern Hills. Oh, you said you were at Southern Hills today too. Yeah. Who was it today? Um, Ace is the photographer and then Joel and Paige are doing the... That's, that's making it to the video. That looks nice. Yeah, I mean, my goal is to like just show off the tighter details of it. The dress, you know, like lace, different things. Um, get some wide shots and tight shots. A little bit of pans and tilts, some just stagnant shots. I like to give myself options. I just make sure it's lit really well. Kind of make a circle around the dress. Give myself options so when I get into the edi editing bay, you know, I have options to work with if I have time, so. It'll be pretty. If I have 10 minutes, if I have 10 minutes in here later, I'll be golden. I think we will, because I don't think like, Kara wants to do like a first look into here. Okay. Um, like where she oh, comes in. Let me, her sister is going to pray over the bridesmaids before the ceremony. Okay, I'll run in there. there.
Okay. Yeah, as long as okay. I just have Kara a five minute heads up do, on any, uh, I will be ready. Kara wants okay. to do her the first look. Once we come back here, I'm gonna bring him in through there and y'all can just like, she wants like her reaction to the yeah. ballroom. Okay. okay. Yeah, as long as Captured. you've communicated a 60 That's second it. heads up, I'm great. I, okay. I yeah. honestly don't think. I'm just, I'm along for the ride. And you're Kelly from Austin, yeah. ATX. Rose is from Austin too. Rose, you're from Austin? Yeah, are you? No, but I love Austin. <laughs> oh. I don't know. <laughs> if you can do one, are you the videographer? I am, yes. Oh, I'm Mary Bedroom. Mary, nice to meet you. Yes, yes. Yeah, I, you're in Tulsa, right? I am. Oh, so you yeah, just yeah. came down for the video? I did. I, I will do anything for Kara. And for, and for Christine. Okay. And you're Mary. I'm Mary. Okay, I'm John. Yes. So many M's. Yes. We have Megan and Mary and Michelle. Yes. Megan. Yes. Okay. Yes. Okay. It's in. I just needed three times and it's in. Do you guys mind if I slide oh, past you? Can I uh, offer suggestions? Go for it. So yes, exactly where you're at, right there. Um, so we're just gonna we're just doing. Yeah, for a sec, we'll do a couple. Yeah. Let me get my light set. Well, well, I brought one. So if you can, let's see. Oh, I will. I will. So let's go under her right her right eye and go ahead and don't tell your head up as much. Yeah, there you go. And just kind of. Well, I don't um, have under eye control. Okay, you can do lips. That's fine. You are going to love us. <laughs> She's like, I can't talk. All right. I'm going to get a silhouette real quick. Just keep doing what you're doing. Yeah, you're doing fine like that. Mmm. Is there a way you could stop doing it and then start doing it again? Yeah. Yeah, like, there you go. I know, like, I want it, yeah. It looks better like this. I don't, I just, just trust me. Okay, that looks great. All right, let's get the brush that has nothing on it. Can we just, like, kind of massage under her yes. right eye? Give her a face <laughs> massage. This is not on video. She just asked me to do this, so she, can give, she loves the way that feels. Oh, my goodness, you look so pretty. Like, I'm not just saying this. These are true statements. Okay. Uh, think about him for a sec. Oh, look at your eyes. Boom. Uh, I'm just going to camp out here for a while. Can you go under her right eye again? Oh, great. That's awesome. That's what I do. I'm gonna change angles real quick here. I'm gonna go around her back, behind her shoulder. So which eye? This one? Yep. Are you You're looking at the No, not right now. Don't stare at John. You can look right into my camera if you want. We can give that a whirl. Yeah, that looks nice. That's great. So pretty. Okay. Let's see, I'm gonna get one wider shot. This is like my favorite part. Yep, just do do whatever you want there. It looks so pretty. Ah. Okay. Awesome. And then, Kara, I'm gonna have you stand up real quick, and just you're gonna be you, no more makeup necessary. But I want to get one shot of just I'm gonna be above you a little bit and have you kind of look. I will make you giggle. Okay. So I'll, if you'll turn just a little bit and stand, I'm gonna have I'm gonna be above you a little bit. Um, and just kind of have you looking up into the camera here in a sec. It looks really pretty, so just kind of up or look down with just your eyes and then look straight up into the camera. You don't have RBF right now, we'll tell you that much. Gorgeous! Gorgeous! Okay, so look down with your eyes one more time and then right in there and think right about him. And like, cheese ball smile. Yeah. Smile, smile, smile! Cool. So pretty. When you know all of their names, Wait, life is so easy. You can have them do whatever you want all day. It's so much fun. Kelly, Megan, Christina, Michelle, Megan, a couple more to go. You, do you do like where they all look at each other? And, okay. That's why I like working with you, so I don't have to be like, hold on. You guys pick a friend, laugh. Y'all hug in real tight and laugh real loud. Go. <laughs> 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 
Frisco. Yeah. Nice. Where are you from? Tulsa. Yeah. 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 Natalie from Frisco. Yep. So your job tonight is to bring the party. Like if nobody's dancing, that is literally in your name today. Natalie with the party from Frisco. Hey, Kara, guess what my job is tonight? Yeah. To bring the party. House party. Oh, yes. If it's if it's lame out there, Natalie's got you. Christina. Yeah. Sin. Yes. One more, and I'm, I got him. Go find Elizabeth. Go find Elizabeth Claire. Where is he from? Claire. Hmm. Bonus name. So me too. Yes. Saying your office was like you're Yeah. Yeah. So you're Lauren, and how are you related? Sister-in-law. I'm married to your brother. Okay. Cool. Lauren, nice to meet you. It's in there. Lauren. Lauren. Why do, we could do something where they get ready, we take her up, and then they come upstairs in, in like the courtyard in the back or something outside. Or so pretty. Yeah, and we're gonna do photos out there anyway. So. Okay, let's do that. Yes, what I'm saying. We're gonna do a prayer, a prayer right beforehand. Yeah. Have you read the letter, then do the prayer. Right now, crazy. Yeah. Let's do it. I don't let's, think I let's pull it like no, you're yeah, like right there. Yep, like that. Yep. No, just both hands is good. Looks great. Your, your eyes. It's okay. I got it. Okay. All right. All right. We're good. All right. Kara, twist okay. around this way just a little bit. Yes. Yeah, so we, we get go. Them. No, this kind of. Mm. Like a gesture. <laughs> okay. Like a gesture. Yeah, kind of lay your train out for. Oh, pretty. We can do that. That, that we can do that on it. Yeah, there you go. Okay. Except we don't have the underneath part. Is that a. You're fine. That's fine. And if I can be right here yeah, when she zips her. Well, just for the little zippy part. Yeah, I've got to finish Perfect. zipping. Oh, I just didn't realize we were going to fully zip. Yeah, Sorry. I just want to get. I will work on it. Okay. Okay. okay, we got. I'm going to bring her that way a little bit yeah. to go in our room. Kara, take so one good. big step that way. Uh, <laughs> think about her as a baby girl. We're going to dry Remember when she was three? <laughs> I think I'll cry when you walk on the aisle with that. Perfect. Okay. All right. Um, Can you turn your face more, just straight that way? Yeah, there we go. And kind of like a big cheesy smile. You're gonna look back down towards your flowers. Yep. I was like, that's impressive, because I don't know if I've ever seen them this late. Okay, cool. So pretty. So we're gonna go up and do I know, before I get sweaty. I like that. Sure. Thank you. Yes. <laughs> hey, John. Hey, we're with the bride. I got lost, and we're just down in the locker room still. Are we supposed oh, to bring I'm, her? I'm with Kara. Oh, okay. Cool. I didn't know we're I'll supposed to go up. With you. Okay. All right. Bye. Stare at her while she's crying. All of the kisses. The light is great. Yeah, the light's great. Man smiling. Good. All right. If everybody can look towards Kara, do a little giggling. Kara, look at your girls. Ignore me. Someone laugh obnoxiously loud. <laughs> <laughs> if I can pull my house party girls out. Okay, house party out. Come to me. Someone said something to make care of you. Okay, and then Mary, I'm going to bring you this way. Okay, this stuff is boring on video after a while, so I'm looking for just like other things. So like just the girls hanging out over here, things like that. So that's, after a while, it's like, okay, I've got the shot of the bridesmaid taking a photo, so I'm just going to find different angles, things like that. Girls watching. Someone laugh real loud for me. Good. Perfect. Stop right where you I'm John. Nice to meet you. Go ahead and step up here. Kind of about where I'm at. Huh? Kind of about right here and facing this way. Okay. We're going to bring her out. She's going to walk out these stairs behind you. Tell me to turn left. Okay, shh.
You guys look at each other real fast. Just kind of look at each other. There you go. And then Clark, if you'll look at me and care if you'll give him a kiss on his cheek. Yeah. There, that's sweet. Oh my goodness, and the leaves are coming down. Oh my gosh, that's going to be Who prayed for your wedding day? I mean, this, my goodness. So you don't have to be mic'd anymore. I'll put it back on you before your speech tonight, but that'll be it. There we go. Okay, thank you. You're unwired when you're done home. Oh. Mom, will you look at Kara and Dad, will you look at Kara as well? Yeah, like that. And then Kara, look at Mom. Yeah, there we go. That's sweet. It's one of my favorite ones. All right, now I'm gonna hit record because I wasn't hitting record. I must have been backwards recording. Can't wait. <laughs> Get them to look at each other. There it is. That's what the video guy likes. Ah. Yeah. <laughs> Video guy even you'll use that shot. We are lighting the head table. I'm Perfect. to shoot and video the head table before we leave. We're lighting all the candles right now. Corby, will you go shoot the head table? Let me get a different perspective than just yeah. Oh my gosh. That's a head table, man. Yeah. So, Sarah, tell me the timeline. What's happening? How long till the ceremony? We start shooting the boys at 4.30. This looks better on this side. So, the wedding planner had the head table just kind of lit for us before the ceremony, so we have a couple of minutes to get some of this detail. So, we're running around like crazy getting detail shots of this before we head over to the church. All those flowers. I'm talking to myself. I'm talking to Chris. Well, I'm talking to Chris. I was super confused. So did I do good or did I do good? You did good. Okay, so what am I... Yeah. This is really great. Yeah. So cool. I love how it, over the waterfall is great. Is that what it's called? I didn't know it, but I figured it. I mean, I know. She goes, did I do good? Yeah, I said, did I do good or did I do good? You yes, you did. It Trying to not get people in the shot. Okay, here's here's a good, okay, this is what I was looking for. That's it right there. It's fun having behind the scenes because I'm usually just talking to myself anyway, so. <laughs> well, he was talking and I was like, who are you talking to? And then I realized what was happening. Yes, all right. You just walk around and see if there's another perspective that I'm not getting. Can't shoot this way because there's caution tape. I'm going to get... Kind of up in this. Some of these candles. ISO 2500. Sticking to auto white balance for right now. All right, I'm solid for now. Let's do it over here. That's even better. Ma'am. Ma'am, can you, uh, I'm gonna get one shot real quick. Sorry, thank you. Kind of looks like it's done right here, Sarah. Well, just like, it kind of, I mean, you can't see the caution tape very much. And the light, it's, those two tables are both lit, so it kind of works. Think about Kara for a sec. Okay, I like it. 
All right, let's see. Yeah, just kind of straighten up your jacket too, like your lapel. Yep. That'll look nice. All right, I'm good. Okay, that was the hardest part of the day. Cool. What'd you think? <laughs> the things that are in my brain, the things that are still in my brain that we need to do after this, just so you're pro thinking about them, is letters, they were gonna maybe do those. Yes. And then um, around the corner, they're gonna talk to each other. Okay. Here's a chill up my pants. Jackson's nailing it. This is a moment. Good job. All right, if I can pull Jackson and all right, you guys will talk to each other. You can be friends. You can like buddy up. Oh, I don't like this. I don't want to make Master laugh a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> Such a different vibe from the girls. Got time for one establishing shot. Oh, the wind goes up my pants. It's so cold. Uh, change that. Uh, okay, one more time. All right, that's enough. Maybe get some of these beautiful orange leaves coming through the sun. <laughs> Acrobatic. Okay. Yeah. That's a bad plan jumping over there. Dang it, wind. Ooh. That's pretty. Let's see. Nailed it. Okay, bye. Take your time. Okay, go right ahead. Ceremony is in one hour. One hour till ceremony. That's refreshing to know. Okay, so I need to get a microphone on Baxter real quick. Um, uh, inside. I don't want her to be freezing. You want to do it right inside so you're not freezing? Yes. Let's, um, might as well do that so we don't. Chris, are you able to move with both of those? Okay. Two. Yeah. So she's reading hers out loud, and I'll pull you aside okay. somewhere so you can read it. So we'll have your audio okay. here in a little bit. Okay. Um, and this is, I'm going to put this on that side if you want to switch. Okay. And I just want to have this audio for when you guys talk to each other around the corner okay. here in a sec. We'll find a spot for it. You thaw out for a second, and Sarah okay. and I will find a spot real quick. Okay. So, um, Sarah, where do you think for... Boy, you look really cool right here with this backlight. I'm going to get a shot of you real quick. Oof, stay right there. Stay. Yeah, I look great. Oh my, yeah. Nope. Just kind of chill out there, yeah. Find that light. Let me find it. There it is. Oh, there it is. Will you just look straight at the camera real quick? Yeah. Got that flare. Did the same thing for her. This is going to be a cool little, yep. Okay. All right, so he's might. Let me, I think I hit record. I'm not going to not hit record. Yeah, you are being recorded. You may want to turn it off before I go. Do you want to stay Okay. You never know what Yeah, I will. Wherever you want, Sarah. This is going to be the challenge, is getting uh, the father mic'd up without him being mad at us. We'll see. <laughs> you right here? Yeah. You're a celebrity. He is. He's got paparazzi. Yeah, they're all <laughs> Build a relationship. Gonna sweep in for the microphone question yeah. in a second. So they are betrothed. I'll ask him in a second. <laughs> Who would be the person that I talk to that's in charge? Is that is that you? Father, and then who's like over the sanctuary? Is that you? Huh? Father? Okay. I'll ask him. They said that there was a lady to talk to that was the boss. That would be me, but I'm not. He's the boss. Just about the rules for the video and yeah, stuff like that? Okay, cool. And do you, either of you all know, like, who's reading, or not who's reading, but where they read from? Oh, is it over here? That's the one. That's the questions I really needed the answers to. So, Chris, in a minute, we'll, I need to put the TAS cam before the ceremony on that podium. Okay. Yeah, I'm just, um, let's do the, 
so the lettery things and the prayers and like I want to get all that done so I can get some stuff. Hopefully we can do it before the sun goes away. I can get some. I get a shot of that stained glass before the sun goes away. But yes. Um, there we go. While we're killing time, I'm just gonna need some stained glass or some. I'll talk to him in just a little bit. We've got a couple things to do, and I already introduced myself, so I'll. Okay. So before you open it, yeah, just hold your horses. We'll do this, and then you'll get to talk to him, and that'll be like. That'll help. So if you'll pull your hair back, I'm gonna try to end up hiding this microphone since we're right here. Let's see how I want to do this, so I can pick it up the best. This is John and his natural habitat. This is John and his natural habitat. <laughs> All right, so that's there. That looks bad. <sighs> no, you just be you. All right, so that's gonna work better. Sorry about no, you're hands. fine. I am not. Okay, so we're gonna hide this underneath your arm. And I'm gonna just put it kind of behind you. Don't mind me. Yeah, do whatever. For now, we're just gonna lay that there, and then I'm gonna hide this. Okay. So we're gonna get it right up in your armpit. How's that look? Look okay? Okay. Praises. And I'm gonna be over here. Yeah, that's fine. Okay. So only rule about the letter is just take your time. If you mess up, just reread that line. That's my only rule. Just take your time. I mean, don't be, take a breath for a second. Like, we're good. We are good. We have 45 minutes. <gasps> okay. But you look beautiful. Take your time. This is from him to you. Can you grab a tissue? A tissue? Kara, I could not be more excited or ready for this evening. You are a blessing straight from God. I could not be more lucky or more happy. Wouldn't want to do this with anyone else. You're my best friend. I cannot wait to spend the rest of my life with you. And now, <laughs> take a deep breath and enjoy this moment. I will see you at the altar. I love you, Bax. <laughs> okay. You did it. Can you pull that, hold that out still? I'm gonna pretend to get a shot yeah. of you reading it. <laughs> His handwriting is pretty good. He has really good handwriting. I don't know if you guys, I don't know if you guys saw my it's handwriting, but it's really bad. In his own letterhead. <laughs> Fancy. <is> so Baxter. <laughs> All right, Baxter. We're planning a camping trip. He and I. <laughs> is that cool? Is that weird? That is totally fine with me. <laughs> When you guys said, is he shy? I'm like, I met him, you're like, okay, yeah, he's not shy. No, it's so much easier though. Put on some Burt's Bees chapstick. You can purchase this with the affiliate link in the description. Sorry. <laughs> she wants to be outside. Yeah, it's great. Okay. Got a clanking flagpole and some traffic, but other than that, the noise is perfect. What about, okay, hear me out. Nope. If you. <laughs> so the Visqueen, like if we get her in it and she just, there's cedar mulch, it's classic. Is there a restroom in there? No, no restrooms in the restroom. There's a Visqueen patch. You can, and we're going to let him lean. Yeah, so he's kind of going to, I think, something like this. And you're going to need to scoot back because he'll be able to see you. Sorry. So I'm just, I'm pretending to be Baxter. It's my dream okay. for the day. Kara, don't, like. <laughs> you getting this, Chris? Good, good. So I, mean, I love you. I'm going to tell him to come out, so just stay right there. Okay. Can you not see me? He does not know see right there, he can't. Okay, let's see. I swear he will not. He's not. And all he's going to see if he looks through that is white. Let's do this, and then he won't, he won't see you because he'll. to talk to him? Yes, you guys talk. See, see how he's doing? You're, it's your wedding. You're allowed to do whatever the frick you want. You're setting your own rules. <laughs> so do whatever you want. Okay. You're good. Stop. You can hold her hand. Oh, yay. 
I actually don't know if I want to see you. How are you? <laughs> I'm doing great. How are you? Are you nervous? Someone told me that you weren't nervous at all, and I don't believe them. Really? Yeah. That's unlike you. Okay, girl. I'll see you in just a little bit, all right? Okay, sweetie. <laughs> he goes, <laughs> ah, what do you think? It's so weird. I can't so. He wasn't wearing pants. Is that okay? Yeah. No pants on, nothing. He's nothing. Going butt naked. He's wearing boxers. Are you good? <laughs> I went waist up though, so you can't tell. Heather said it was fine. Yeah, so we're good. Nice. All right, go back to the um, The only other thing I need to record with her is the prayer in the room, and then which is happening in 15 minutes. Okay. Boom! On it. I'm sorry. I'm not doing that on a timeline. I hey, have, in my I brain. might I might make it happen a little bit before that if that's okay. Yeah, that's that's got to be Father Yoder right there. He looks he looks like a Yoder. This is the room we were just yes. in, right? Oh shoot. <laughs> We can just take him somewhere. We don't have to go in there. He doesn't know if he wants to read it. No, I'm fine. I'll read it. It's good. I'm good. You sure? Yeah. She wrote it. She's not going to read it. She read yours, okay. and it, it'll it'll be good to okay. have it together yeah. on the video. Okay. You'll be happy you did it he tomorrow. Has to go to the bathroom, so get him somewhere. Okay, let's just go in, let's just go in the room. The yeah, uh, we don't want him in front of the guys. Let's go right back. Let's go right back outside. We'll do it outside. <laughs> so I know it's a little a little windy or rustly. Boy, let's do it right inside. I'm sorry. It's just like the noise factory. So loud. This is where we're going to do it. Okay. And you're, I'm going to double check that you're still recording. Just, you should be, but you are. Okay. okay. So you can sit down and just take your time. If you mess up a line, just reread the line. Deep breath. Said the same thing to your wife to be. Can you pull those doors closed? Any chance? Just take your time. That's from her to you. It's really long. All right. Dear Robert Baxter Lou Allen, I could not be more excited to become your wife today in our church being witnessed by our loved ones. My life was forever changed the day I met you. Sorry. <laughs> Thank you. All right, go for it. You make me feel secure, protected, comforted, and most importantly, loved. Love, Kara. You made it. <laughs> Man. Hey, can you pretend to read that real quick again? I'm just gonna yeah. get one shot over here. She's not gonna like this though, because she has bad hand writing. So she said that. She's not gonna like this. Okay. All right, so you're good to go for me. I don't need, you're mic'd up, it's rolling. I won't use anything that you say against you on it, just so you know. But it's good to go for the ceremony. I'm gonna straighten it just a little bit, so. Anything you say will be up. You're paying me too much to make you look bad. All right. It's like, a, it's like ships passing in the night. <laughs> Are you doing the prayer? Yes. Okay, I'm gonna put a mic on you. Oh gosh, this is like totally impromptu. That's perfect, that's what. I haven't even, the most important part of so here's the I thing. Even, like, the that's better. Oh, yeah. It is. Well, she asked me to do the prayer, but... Do you mind holding that for a second? Mm -hmm. Hey, just talk to your sister. That's all you need to do. Anything you say that's great, we'll use. Um, I'm going to put this on you real quick, though, and then we'll go in there in a sec. And I just say talk to her, you know? Don't worry about us. <laughs> and now she's like, can you pray? <laughs> yeah. Okay, I'm going to run this under your arm real quick and then just stick it on here. Okay. Got it. So you'll come in there and stand right next to her. Right. Hey, Claire, when they Sorry. pray, could you be extra quiet? Right. Okay. I'm going to have you step good back memorizing the flower girl's names. Around. Come in handy. So um, you'll stand right next to Kara as well. I'll have you stand like right next to her. What? If everybody can go back. Like everybody take three big, steps, two, three, 2.5 steps back. Do you want me to hide the mic? Uh, I'm good. I've got you framed out. She's going to have to clone stamp you. Sorry. <laughs> yeah, get in there. Half, uh, like Last Supper style, like uh, all on one side of the table. Yeah. No, you're just actually being in the moment, listening to the prayer. Don't worry about us. I'm going to bless this woman as she walks down the aisle. Are we ready? All right. Dear Heavenly Father, and we are just so blessed to be here today with Kara Elizabeth Bundren and... I'm just so proud of her for everything that she's done and how 
She has met Baxter and she's just become such a godly woman through the rest of their life and through the rest of their marriage. And I just pray that you calm all anxiety as she walks down the aisle and as she looks into her eyes. Amen. Amen. <laughs> <laughs> you know what <laughs> Forget <No>. Vera. Yeah. <laughs> Michelle's messed up. Postpartum hormones, guys. <laughs> I'm going to take the microphone off of you. That gives everybody at least 15, 20 minutes to touch up. See, we are trying to help you all out. Kara, I'm going to go get the ceremony set up. I'll see you when you're married. Is that cool? Good luck. It's going to be awesome. Baxter made it through his letter too. He did a great job. All right, I'm going, Sarah, there you are. All right, I'm going to go get set up. Oh, I really want to go to the bathroom, but I'm going to wait. Uh, he just, I told him I was going to peek out to the front when she's coming down the aisle. So I'm going to stand near the side front, like I'm almost ready to put that mic on you. And uh, where, where will you be? Uh, in the sacristy. Okay, how would I get there? Would it be on the stage? Or? No, you're going to go right down here. Uh -huh. First go on your left. First, okay. I will meet you there in just a few minutes. Miking the two officiants. Oh, God, it hurts. Okay, this is game time. Good stuff to film. Okay, so I'm going to put a Tazcam on this podium because some people are speaking from this podium. This is the podium audio for the ceremony for Kara and Baxter. Usually I'll gaff tape this, but I have no time. So they will talk right into that whenever they're saying their speech or their letter readings or their scripture readings. That's what I'm looking for. All right. Okay. So I'm going to put my mic just so I'm not going to be able to have audio during the ceremony, but we're running three cameras, a uh, bright angle, groom angle, and then a gimbal angle in the back. But my, my mic needs to go on a second efficient that I didn't know about. So I'm done with audio for right now. So I'm going to go put that on him. I need to grab the other microphone. Um, <clears throat> So all of our stuff's in the back, is that right? Okay. All right, I'm interrupting again. Um, as you can see, the ceremony is about to happen and I just uh, wanted to throw it out there, a couple of the things of what I did during the ceremony. Last minute, they told me that there was an additional officiant in the microphone, the lapel that I had on, had to go to him. So we didn't record me behind the scenes during the ceremony, but because it was a solo shoot, I brought um, three cameras, all C100s. Um, my camera is a C100 Mark II, um, but I wanted to explain where the three angles were. So the groom angle was over to the left side up at the front and zoomed in um, on a 70 to 200 of the groom and the angle looks like this. My center angle, I put on my Ronin and put a 24 millimeter lens and kind of put it off to the side at the benches or the pews um, while people were coming in and that angle looked like this. And then lastly, my angle, when people were coming down the aisle, I was on a 50 and followed them in as they came down the aisle for the processional, so the bridesmaids. Um, as they were coming down the aisle, I followed them. I crouched down um, at the front of the aisle whenever the flower girl was coming in and when the bride was coming in. So this is kind of what those angles look like. And then once the ceremony got going, my third camera, which was um, my C100 Mark II, was off to the right side on a tripod with a 70 to 200 as well. All three angles, just so you can see on one screen, kind of looked like this, so I could cut back and forth between the three of them. Who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. 
I was in the aisle for the kiss. I grabbed the, the Ronin and I moved it up to the middle of the, the church during the ceremony once I got going. And once the kiss was about to happen, I had run over to the middle of the aisle and was holding the Ronin up for the kiss. And then I walked backwards with the Ronin as the couple was leaving. Let us go forth in the name of Christ. Turn this Thanks way. be to God. Oh Where we wait until he gets a few down. Had a baby. We're married, baby. I love you so much. Let's oh, wait one more. Let's go. I'm sorry I didn't get to show you that footage of me doing that during the, the actual ceremony, but I figured this would be the best way to show it to you, and hopefully uh, it makes sense. If you have questions, just leave them below, but um, hopefully this helps, and back to the behind the scenes video. Ready lean over and kiss her on the cheek. Okay. Indoor photos at night, no outdoor time. We'll see how this goes. Nobody's watching. You're just totally in love and PDA and all over the place. Yeah. That's what you do when no one's watching? <laughs> I mean, everyone's watching. Huh? I like it. Kiss her on the cheek, kind of look down, Kara. Good. Just make out with her face a little there. Pretty. I won't, I won't flirt with her anymore since she's married. <laughs> Y'all squeeze in and look at me right I may have here. flirted hardcore with your wife today. Oh, I believe it. <laughs> I couldn't help myself. Yeah. Turn your face I <laughs> Oh yeah, spoon oh, him, spoon him. Pockets. Who are these people back here, do we know? I don't know. Can you guys go that way? Yeah, we'll All right, see you guys. I know you can't really see her, but kind of look back towards her right there. It's your wife, man. Kiss him on the cheek. Hey, Kara. Can you reach it? <laughs> Kiss that manly beard. Kiss that beard. Yes. Make yes. out with that beard. <laughs> Eat it. <laughs> He's kind of hungry. We should put them in the middle of the dance floor and have her dip and then go back that way. That way the floor is white. Get a wide shot. Ladies in the background. You pull her in and dip her. Dip her and give her a kiss. Yeah. That's going to make the video. Oh, wait. There you go. Oh, is it? I'm sorry. Sorry. Whoops. Did it the wrong way. This will help you. Okay. Okay, here you go. Here. Oh my gosh, yeah. Baxter says no regrets. No regrets. Baxter! I'm recording this, just so you know. This is totally recording. Okay. What am I supposed to do? It's like all over the We'll fix it. You will not see it in your pictures, yeah. I promise. Okay, what in the heck am I going to do with this room for five minutes? I said, what am I going to do with this room for five minutes? Like, I mean, if you want to walk around in like pointed at tables for me or something for us, like we can do that. Okay, moving super fast. I love it, I'm getting all these plates. Looks like we know what we're doing. Okay, flowers down. Okay, just keep following me. Um, I wanna shoot towards that light. So Sarah, I'm gonna, you can just give me some light right here. I'm gonna shoot towards that pin. I'm gonna skip back. Golly, this is incredible. Well, that's what's hard. It's like that wait staff is over there, but oh well. I think at this point you just shoot it. Ready? Get tighter so I can get the flare from the flowers coming through. Okay, got that, got that, got that. Uh, what are the name, the place cards on the table? Will you shine on the number five for me? Or like the letters. Uh, uh. Throw a beat on there. Okay, let me. Okay. This is craziness. All right, keep keep going on the that flower. 
Okay. Thank you. That's good. Um, all right. Let's see here. So that I'll take that off you as soon as you're done with your speech. And it's it's just recording, so. Oh, they're recording everything I say. I'm recording it, but you paid me too much. I won't make you look bad. Okay. <laughs> Sound good? <laughs> I want you. To, I'll, I'll wait to uh, hit record until right before you talk. Okay. Let me Sounds let good. me fix this real quick. Sorry, it's coming up. All right. This is Dad's microphone for his speeches. Do you want the rundown of the timeline? Not right now. <laughs> I need to find Dad. All right, so this is Dad's clerk at Kara and Baxter's wedding. I'm gonna put a mic on Dad so when he does his speeches, we will get good audio since a lot of things. <laughs> clerk, do you mind if I go ahead and throw this on you? You're doing something about the wine, is that right? Okay. Let's see here. What about your your uh, pants pocket? Would that work, or do you? Okay. All right, so it's going, and I'll just keep that on you until after you do the speeches about the, the wines and stuff. Thank you, sir. See how that goes. All right, Sarah. <laughs> okay, what's the RD rundown? I'm very good at what I do. No, I'm just kidding. Well, in a way, well, yeah, I just, I just was like, hey, I'm gonna put this on you. Like, I want to be able to get it. She's like, oh yeah, no problem. Where's my fillet? Dang it! Give me my fillet. <laughs> okay. So, I got three shots of the room, two shots of cake. So they're, they're not dancing for a while. Baxter's talking? All right. I only have so many freaking mics, okay? They, they said nobody was talking. That's what I will do. Video's so much easier than photo. So for the reception lighting, I have a torch LED, which is up here. Just gonna light up the dance floor. And we have the Photo Deox Flapjack, which is more of like a fill light. We have them both on the same side as the stage. I don't want people tripping on them over here right now. So if we get time, I'll move one of them opposite. Move that light to that corner. But for now, they're both on the same side of the stage. Match color temperature to the room. And it's providing a lot of really good light for the the dance floor that wouldn't be there. And the photographer loves me right now because yes. my lights. Sorry. You guys mind coming a little bit closer to about right here? That way we can see, uh, yeah. How do you feel about this bright light just shining right in their face? I like it, I'm down. Look, it looks like we know what we're doing. I would not recommend doing it this way, Chris. Let's stand next to this light. Yeah. Let's hope the microphones are recording. Ta-da! But they look good. They're, they're hair lit. They got... Oh. Welcome to Karen Baxter's wedding. Greetings and welcome. I'm Clark, and this is my wife, Mary, Clark and Mary Bundren. And we're, we're glad to greet you all here this evening. I'd like to hand the wife off to my wife, who's going to make a few introductory remarks. Welcome. These 
are the people who will support you in good times and in bad. Cheers to day one of this long legacy that you inherit. We love you. Like Jim and Pam, or like Jim. <laughs> He's doing it right now. Yeah. So we're about Abby to and Amanda are on the, the film. <laughs> Throw them in there. Yeah. I've been so I've been good. schmoozing them good and hard, so they'll remember Redeemed Productions and my name, which is Jacob. Ah. <laughs> so I <laughs> close, <laughs> close. We'll get there. Okay. Don't worry. But yeah. He's listening to us fine. Yeah, he is. <laughs> Let's get it on, 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 and on. Let her rip. Just walking through the crowd, handheld. Um, I'm looking for people. I'm trying to interact with them so I can get some reaction. Um, I know the bridesmaids at this point, um, so I'm trying to kind of get any emotion I can. I used to go on a monopod, but that doesn't really work for getting in there like this. So um, that's kind of what this footage is. It's just me walking through um, with a 50 on for a while. I think I put a 24 on in a little bit, but um, yeah, just getting up in there. Um, you can see some of that shake from, uh, you know, just moving around with the camera. So I won't include all that, obviously, in the final film, but just want to kind of show you how quickly you can get different angles, really. So. And I'm constantly moving around, just trying to, like, get different angles, trying to put light behind people, um, trying to, you know, hands up in the air. I'm trying my best just to kind of let flares happen and just let stuff happen in my screen instead of just sprinting around. Um, so you can kind of see me getting up above people. The most boring angle is straight on, so either I, I try to get above people or, um, you know, down a little bit to get some of those angles. And of course, I have to dance a little bit. And look at those moves, man. All right, I'll jump up on the stage here, kind of try to get some angles. The band members always love it. You know, I mean, these guys are, you know, wanting to be on camera. They're wanting to be famous. They're wanting to be, um, you know, a big time band. And so I give it to them. I get up there and I make them feel like rock stars. Um, they always play it up for me. Um, but just get down low, get some of those angles, slide over, um, just get, you know, real quick angles of them playing guitar. I'm always trying to have them, uh, you know, light behind them, kind of filtering through. And so um, I get some really cool stuff real fast. It usually takes only a couple minutes, but gives me a ton to look at during the wedding edit. All right, it looks like I switched to a wider lens now. So I'm just getting to different angles um, on the 24 instead of the 50. Um, and this gives me a different look. I usually spend a little bit of time on each. All right, I'm just getting up above uh, the piano player. Wouldn't have seen that shot unless I was just kind of walking around. Um, some of the shots don't make it, but I'm just showing you guys kind of different angles that I'm able to get by walking through the crowd without a uh, monopod, um, just handheld. So just some beautiful footage of me dancing in the middle of a bunch of people. But when you're in there, you can get more just you know intimate shots almost I mean you just get up in there so uh, up until recently I did not uh, man I'm a goofball um, up until recently I didn't uh, get off the monopod until I saw a bunch of tutorials on it I was like man and so my dancing footage has gotten way better
And I really do just like the feel of just kind of swaying back and forth. You can see me kind of swaying a little bit. Um, that gives me kind of like that m dancing movement, you know, it doesn't have to be perfect footage. So um, now I'm putting the Ronin together. Um, I only had one camera, so I'm um, having the Ronin on the 24. I'm going to spend the rest of the night on the Ronin. I got all the tighter details that I needed, so no need to keep uh, getting that handheld footage. And... Uh, be sure to follow me on Instagram over there. You see that that nice at John Bon underscore. Give me a follow. Um, but anyway, yeah, like the the Ronin, I'll spend the rest of the night on and do the grand exit for it. A little bit upset that I just set the uh, Ronin up and the band's taking a break. Again, this footage is not color corrected. Just a flat image out of the camera. I've realized too on the gimbal, if I'm not just moving, uh, I really don't love the footage. I mean, it just looks pretty boring. I try to stay um, not above everybody, but where their heads are in the foreground. So, so you see I'm a little lower, so if people's heads kind of go past me. Um, if I do get a little bit higher, um, it just doesn't look as great to me. And you'll see, I just kind of make a, a half circle around the dance floor again and again and again. I'm light. I love shooting towards lights. Um, it adds a lot of emotion to to the shot itself. Makes it feel like more of a party. You see that shot not toward lights. Kick it right back towards my light. And as I make a curve around, you'll see the the torch light. Just looks prettier that way. It adds a little bit of that flare. Mm. Again, just half circles. I get a few of these and then I kind of just chill out and wait till the band will get back up on stage and then get a couple more shots and be just kind of chilling at that point. If anything big is happening, obviously I'm going to film it, but as an editor, you don't want to just keep shooting and shooting and shooting if you already have good stuff. All right, this is me trying to get a good shot from way up above. I take it real slow and kind of go down and to the left. It kind of feels like a jib. So that's the goal with the shot like that where I'm starting up high is I'm going to end down low. Um, the band is back on the stage. So this is the shot I'm going to end up using for the actual wedding film. Do a big circle so you can kind of see the, the full dance floor. That's the point of these gimbal shots is eye candy. So that's what I'm trying to find. And if you notice, I'm not trying to do just big, big movements. I'm just trying to do small movements. So we're going to walk backwards with the gimbal. Make my way backwards on the way out. That way I still get gimbal and their faces. Since it's just me shooting. Stay down. Everybody has a difference. I just like to stand right next to you. Congrats, you guys! And all right, it is 12:12 a.m. I guess so. We shot for a long time. Wedding just finished. It's super cold out here. Um, solo shooting is not for me, but we made it. And. I mean, with all the changes and everything that was crazy, we just kind of rolled with it and 
the couple told me how much they love me, the mom told me how much they love me, and that's, you know, the main thing for me is making sure that taking care of the client, I didn't get as much of the room as I wanted, I didn't get as much stuff as I really wanted to get, but at the end of the day, they're gonna love it, they're gonna love their film, and that's what matters, so. Um, that's all for this video. I uh, hope you enjoyed it. If you have any comments or questions, just leave them in the comments below. Um, we'll do this again soon. And until next time, see ya. If you want to watch this full video, the full video that I completed, just check out the link in the description. I finished the entire eight minute film. The couple loved it. I've posted it on my Facebook page. So you can see kind of what a feature film looks like for what we do with a solo shooter. I'm excited for you to check it out. Thank you so much for watching. If you could subscribe to the channel, like this video, share it with others. We love providing this content, but it really helps us when you interact with it. So let us know what you thought. Let me know if I suck at what I do. Just let me know what you're thinking, if you have any questions, what gear I use, all that good stuff, and we will see you in the next video.